Hi, Dr. Rick Goodman here. Today we're going to discuss the five areas to set goals to attain balance in your life in this episode of The Solutions Oriented Leader. Hi, Dr. Rick Goodman here. Today let's discuss the five areas to set goals in your life if you want to really attain balance. As I travel around the world speaking and discussing goals and seeing what people can really achieve, I always ask this question. I say to people 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years old, what do you want to be when you grow up? And you know the number one answer I get? I don't know. And I always say you're not coming back. You may come back as a fish or a frog, but you're not coming back as you. So if there's five areas to set goals to attain balance in your life, here they are. Number one is career and financial goals. You got to know what you want to be when you grow up and you got to know how much money you want to make. You know, most people know how much they need to make in order to pay their bills. But do you really know how much you need to be successful, to have the things that you want in life? Now, money isn't everything. It's just dead people on pieces of paper. But the reality is it's an exchange of value that we deliver. So in your career, you got to know what you want to be when you grow up. And here's the good news. Just because you start out doing one thing doesn't necessarily mean you're going to do that the rest of your life. You get to create your life. You really get to put it all out there. So the first is career and financial goals. And Stephen Covey always says, begin with the end in mind. Know what you want your outcome to be and then work your way backwards. So that's number one. The second type of goal is developmental and educational goals. Every year I take 10% of my income and put it back into myself in books, tapes, learning, seminars, just like you're doing right here today. You've got to invest back in yourself. Do you know if you improve 1% a day, in 365 days you're going to be 365% better. Now who would not give me all of their money right now to give you a 365% return on your investment? And you can do that right away just by focusing on the things that you need to do and understanding that you've got to put the wood back in. Learning doesn't stop just because you stop school. It's an ongoing process. Success is a journey, not a destination. So you want to go and find the developmental and educational goals. Next, physical and health goals. You got to be somewhat physically fit and you got to be somewhat mentally fit. Now you don't have to be an Olympic athlete, but you got to move your body. There's something called the cross-crawl pattern. And the cross-crawl pattern is when you're moving both sides, cross-crawling, so to speak, like when a baby starts to crawl, they develop both sides of their brain. When we start to exercise, especially once you get into about 20 minutes of exercise, whether it's walking or running, something where you're using that cross-crawl method, what you're going to find out is you're going to start to get information and the right side of the brain starts to communicate to the left side of the brain. So like I said, you've got to get out there and work a little bit. Move that body. It's going to bring oxygen to the brain. It's going to increase your epinephrines. It's going to increase the hormone levels. It's going to make you feel good. It's going to make you sleep better at night. More important, it's going to give you the ability to help other people, including yourself. So make sure you're spending a little time, 20 minutes, half hour a day. Make sure you get out there, walk, move in the world, breathe a little bit. But you've got to get some physical, edu physical ability in there. You've got to make sure to exercise a little bit. That's very key in today's world. Then family, relational, and social goals. As we've noticed in the last year, family is important. When we were separated, when we went through COVID and stuff, we recognized that relationships, connection is so important. So your family, relational, and social goals. Remember, nobody ever spent time at, on their deathbed saying, I wish I would have spent more time at the office. So now's the time to get that balance and that focused time and being in the moment with your family when you're in the moment. And the last area are spiritual and value goals. Spiritual and value goals. What is it that you believe in? What's important to you? What makes you feel happy? It doesn't necessarily mean an organized religion. You can go outside and look up in the air and speak to anybody. But those spiritual and value goals, what are you going to do to make a difference in this world? I use something called the leadership epitaph. And the leadership epitaph says, if you're retired 20 years from now and someone walks down the street and sees you, what are they going to say about you? Are they going to say you were a great leader, you were helpful, you gave them value, you added to their lives, or are they going to run across the street to the other side? It's real important to know. So the five areas of goal to set life, first, career and financial, next, developmental and educational, 
Next is going to be family, relational, and social. And last is spiritual and value goals. If you have all those goals in those areas, you've got balance in your life. This is Dr. Rick Goodman saying, subscribe to our channel if you learned something. Like us and send us and refer us to everybody you know. Take care. To learn more about solutions-oriented leadership, please visit our website at rickgoodman.com or feel free to email me at info at rickgoodman.com and please subscribe to the Solutions Oriented Leader on iTunes or your favorite podcast app to get your weekly episodes automatically.